Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Farm Sim D. So we're in episode 83, and in this episode we have to harvest. Previous episode we've put up all the walls and all these things. Why does it look like there's a gap? Oh no, there is a fence there. Haha. <laughs> so we put all the walls, put the fences up um, right around. Hehe. <laughs> As you can see, I've already came in and I've opened this gate here. So we've got this gate and the bottom gate there. Haha. -ha. I think it's brilliant. So we've only got 17,813 liters of milk. Did I miss it now? Yeah. Unfortunately, things are going a bit slower than anticipated, but especially with the animals uh, let's just have a peek quickly chickens still looking good cow still nice and fresh yeah it's just the straw that's getting a bit low but we'll tend to that as soon as we get to that point as you know i think by now this one might be full because I never started it up. Uh, this one needs, I think, one or two of our dairies might be out of action. Let's quickly check that out. Because of sugar, it's becoming a real problem for me. Uh, all of them is still showing blue, except, yeah. Here's one. Oh, the honey. Hmm, that's weird. I would have suspected the sugar is finished by now, but now it shows the honey is drained. Wow. Okay, so it seems like we can't keep up with the honey. Hmm. I filled up that one already. Let's fill up this one. And then as you all know, after the update, Our combine has an unlimited capacity. Hmm, that's also something new. Or an unreal capacity, I beg your pardon. So yeah, once we get money, we're going to transform this nicely. Come and landscape everything here. Um, I need to show you what is on sale today. Mm, no. 20,000 liters? No, I don't think so. So, our tray Is it our trailer? No. Sorry, guys. Wrong screen. As you can see, this thing now holds 153,300 liters. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, so without further ado, I just need to get to tending to the normal business of the farm. And then we're going to get rock and rolling with the harvest. Um, what is ready to be harvested? So we can harvest wheat. We can harvest canola, oat, which we don't have. We've got potatoes, no. Sorghum, yes. And the rest, not yet. We're almost ready for sugar cane. Almost, almost. And for the corn to be turned to chaff so we're almost there happy about that though okay that's filled up let's go fill up this unit quickly at the farm and then we're gonna go get our colossal unit and go do some harvesting <laughs> so we're in august nothing to sell as yet our money was at I think it was $805 or something. Luckily we've got the biogas plant to keep us in the green. Oh, didn't I? Oh, this is the bottom gate. Hey, hey. Oh, the top gate, bottom gate. I don't know which one will decide. I want to go to the gate by the cow cows. So I thought about having the gates and having bollards that go up at night and lower by themselves in the morning. 
Um, I think I'm going to test the bollards out at one of the gates. Just see how it goes. If that's good. Only reason why we've got the gates up is so that they don't come and steal our stuff throughout the night. Hehe. <laughs> Let's see if we can load something in here. <coughs> is that all the slurry? Let's go check over by the cows how much is here. No, there's still a lot more. Mm, no, we don't want milky milky. Okay, then yeah, I can fill up the manure quickly. There we go. That's filling up. Sixty nine percent. Still good. There's our harvester, our sugarcane harvester chilling there in the back. We're gonna come and landscape this very nicely. We're gonna put asphalt in here and one or two more roads. Get this area laid out nicely. Get another cow pen in here. Most probably. And then I want to show you quickly why I want to put another little road in. I really think we're going to try the bollards. Um, I'm not sure how it works. But I'm pretty sure that will do. Then we can widen that gate a little bit more. Put bollards in there at night a certain time. It automatically comes up then nobody can enter or go through our or steal our equipment out of here that's it fill up then I want to add another little road in the front I'm gonna show you just now because the problem I've got is while that's filling up this gate takes forever to open up it's a bit slow um, through here he <laughs> he that will also be nice i still need to sell that equipment or that piece of equipment our old planter we also need to sell it's open for business so we've got an auger wagon now i'm not sure if we're gonna use it right now or not but we'll see maybe the combine takes enough so that it can just dispense it where we need it sorghum is a very expensive crop to grow but it pays a lot the yield is good but yeah it is quite expensive to plant but it's not that bad though it's not far off from anything else that we had before We just need to buy one additional auger wagon for our crops and yeah then we basically settle then we can start looking at finishing the walls and stuff off I mean yeah the walls are quite pricey to do but okay. there's our combine 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 Is the trailer detached? There it is. Took me a while to learn how to attach and detach from that thing. I really need to move this tank here because look now I need to force my way through here. Okay, let's unfold the header. Unfold the combine. Uh, we'll enable it even though it means nothing oh this is the wheat okay so let's get into the wheat then yeah we're gonna get a nice straw swath we always want a good straw swath I mean that brings in straw that we need for the cows we've got more than enough straw in the silo for bedding and for the TMR for now 
the, this straw will just go straight for bales. Um, I still need to landscape the corners up here, like I've explained to, so that we can turn with our vehicles. Okay, let's just back it up ever so nicely. Come on, baby. Just want to do the headland quickly and then we're going to, I might do the rest in a time lapse because I think the sorghum up there might be ready. I'm almost sure of it. So the farm is growing. We've put up walls um, in front of the walls. I want to see if I can lower the grounds and maybe put water there, make it look all nice. But for that, we need money. Hmm. Oh, the sorghum is ready. So the sorghum field, I'm pretty sure we'll hit in a time lapse because that is going to be a big job. The wheat that we're harvesting now, for those who don't know, that have just joined the channel, the wheat is for the chickens. That's why I've got a small field for it. Um, I must say the chickens do not consume as much as the other animals we've got. But yeah, we've got grass to mow. We've got so many things going on on the farm. It's not even funny, but yeah. We're getting there. That grass field is just big enough to maintain the cows for now. I want to make more silage bales. And yeah, maybe half half again. Half of the field silage. Or three quarter silage, half hay. That's going to be a job and a half. Maybe I can put this on a worker once I've done the headland here. We'll just see. I know one of the fields, once I'm done, I need to plow them out because it's periodic plowing. So we need to tend to that as well. Get everything sorted out nicely. I must say this combine. I think I found my most favorite combine out of them all. It's just because of the pure capacity of this unit. And it's a nice unit to drive as well. You can download from the mod up. It's a very, very nice piece of kit to have. So let's see where we're going. Going like a bowen. Look my housey housey on the water. To think of it a while ago there was nothing there. It was just a pond. Now it's a pond with a house. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know if this unit will turn around on its own here though. Because I want to go to the mower. Get that going so long. Well, we, we're getting there. We're making it. It's just a pity that these bees are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, I might put up like five more beehives somewhere. Come, Stroswathi. Okay, there we go. Let's see if this worker will turn around on its own. If it wasn't for the biogas plant, I had, then I had no option but to do this manually. Put it like that. Mm -hmm. We're talking business. I really need more bees because our honey is not doing or doing as great as I hoped. I just want to see if this worker can turn around with the beehives in the way there. Well, if the beehives are in the way, then I'll have to move it. <laughs> I've got a location where I think the beehives will be good. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't know how it's going to affect the field. Just want to see if this worker can turn around then we can carry on with other things
the corn should be good <laughs> uh, and then we've still got another field there in the distance I don't know if you can see it from here I'm just waiting for the save then I can show you where we've got sugar cane in that's gonna be another ball game on its own there's the sugar cane field field 38 if I go like this it should show you that it's growing still yeah that's still growing this is ready and that's ready that still needs to go that I'll harvest on day two because of that accident the worker caused okay that's going there's our cane harvester with its auger wagon uh, we've got so many vehicles now yeah this is what I want Let's pull it out of here. Now to wait for this gate. That's what I want. I think I'm going to go with the ball arts. Um, if I can show you quickly while this is opening. <coughs> Sorry guys, my throat is still not all the way there. Um, under what was the ball arts? Mm, now I can't even remember there they are so if we go for five that's what it looks like nice and big um, if we place that in there it will stand like this that until or during the night and in the morning they automatically go down it opens at 9 p.m. and, and it closes at 8 a.m can be activated manually so 9 at night it closes and it opens 8 a.m. in the morning so I think that's one thing that I'm gonna replace the gates with because the gates just take a little bit of time to open up and having the bollards there will be so nice okay so let's get this unit turned around here quickly so that this can carry on mowing yeah while we're doing the rest what we busy with there we go that worker is doing its thing I want a swath so I've already set it to a swath wow we've got so many vehicles 26,000 and it's only standing at 17% capacity hehe <laughs> Okay, while that's happening, where is our orange tractor? There it is. Is this going to be strong enough? I hope so. Let's attach to our baler. Because I need to do straw bales quickly. I love the fact that we can drive through here now and there's walls. But I honestly think I'm going to be taking out the gates pretty soon. And we put in bollards there. So that it's nice and wide. That will work. I can even make the gates much wider than we've got it now with the bollards there. I think that is our next course of action. Is to change the gates with bollard systems. Um, there's a lot of landscaping that needs to happen. The sugar cane is important. There's so much to do. It's a never ending situation. But that's what farming is all about. If you can look at the sunflower, half of it's grown, half of it's not grown. I'll have to harvest that in the second cycle of growth. So yeah, that was a little bit of a judgment error on my side unfortunately once the combine is finished we'll get the combine to jump straight over into our sorghum field and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna do in a full time lapse it will just be much better if I do it that way pick up all the straw there please thank you sir 
There comes our first raw whale. Hee hee. Come combine. He's going for the last line now. Well, not that he has to hurry because this tractor is struggling a little bit. <laughs> but we're pushing on. If you've got any suggestions what you would like to see on this map, please do leave a comment and I will have a look at it. Oh, we missed a piece. But that I can come and pick up easily. Um, and for those who haven't subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I want to do something here by the house. Expand it out a little bit. Make the pond a little bit bigger. We'll have a look at it. See if I can get that done somehow. Oh wow, well, now the combine will stop halfway on the line there. Yeah, but not a problem. Okay, I'm gonna lower the header here. Just leave it here quickly. I must say, this combine is such a lovely piece of kit. To be honest, it's the best combine I've used in a very long time. Purely because of its capacity. You can do an entire field and not worry about are you full or anything of that sort. Just don't offload in there, please. <laughs> I'm offloading in the wrong place. Now, I do know. I have to move this now to the animal side, the silo where the animals are based. Well, it's not a big problem, that I will do gladly. Oh, I love this combine, I'm, it's the best, I think. And then the chickens or the bees I need to sort out we need way more bees than we've got now I think we need another five I'm gonna start at the bottom what Oh, it is harvesting. I wanted to say now, gee, but I'm not destroying my own crops for a second there. If you look at it, I thought, wow, we are killing the sorghum. Luckily, we didn't. Haha, <laughs> imagine we did. That would have been me in the red. Because I mean, it's a lot of money. Look at that. <coughs> Sorghum going in, Barbara. This field is not this. Unit, I'm pretty sure it's not even going to fill this This field in the hopper It's going to take more than this field to fill it up As you can see the cane is growing It's looking nice Germinated very nice, nice big field It's going to take a full time lapse to harvest that If we can just climb out here quickly yeah, it's looking good. Sugarcane grain. Hehe. <laughs> okay, well, we're on our way. That should, the cane should give us enough of what we need. If I look at this menu quickly, needs plowing. I, sh I think it was this field. Yeah, that field needs plowing. Bad situation. Bad, bad, bad. I just want to get this little bit done, the headlands. Then I'm going to put it off on a worker and we're going to time lapse me bailing up all the straw swath. 
and we gonna most definitely oh i dropped my remote hey <laughs> hey sorry guys the camera just went bonkers sorry everybody let me get you back on top of the seat there we go um so yeah we need to get all the straw put away the way we need it and that's gonna go for the cows the straw bales that we make is for the um, TMR mix so that's a good thing I don't know what I'm gonna stick into this field next hmm. I might do a full wheat run just to get more wheat for the chickens in here or I might even think of something else. We'll just see how it goes. I keep on rotating everything. Wow, it's done that much and we're not even at 8%. Oh, there we are 8% now. Well, the only thing I know is we certainly need more beehives. <laughs> That's going to bother me. It's a pity we don't get straw swath out of sorghum as well. But that's fine. Our production is making a ton of money now. So while it's this last little bit then I'm gonna put you guys on the back seat with the music playing and we're gonna finish up all the bailing and get that done make sure our cows have enough straw also we've got bailing to do over by the grass field which you can see from here all the lines the worker is still busy there Well, this is almost ready to give over. Things are looking up. I love it that we're getting on track with everything. And the corn is getting there. Sunflower. The corn harvest is going to be a big one. Because that we're going to turn into chaff. I'm going to take like one tanker maybe. Um, 10,000 liters for our fish production which sounds like a lot but it's not a lot okay let's shove this worker on his merry way yeah okay that's that worker off on what he's supposed to do let's scoot over to back to this machine and this is where I'm going to start the time lapse so sit back have a nice rest see how I go on with this and hope you enjoy
Okay, so we're on our last row and I've bailed up some of the grass off screen. As you can see in the distance in the background, there's a few lines missing. <laughs> yeah. But this hopper is insane. I mean, 113,000 liters and we're still harvesting the same field. I haven't offloaded once. As you can see, it's still got some space left in there. Sorghum Valley, well this sorghum is going to go straight into our production for flour. I think it can take sorghum. Uh, where is our flour? There is one red. Sorghum, we're going to put in, I see we can still do the barley a little bit. Push the barley. So, yeah, we've still got a little bit of barley left to put through there. Next episode's going to be interesting. I think that's where we're going to start eating either the corn. Turn it into chaff to fill up our, our very nice silage clamp at the back there. Um, and pretty soon we'll be dealing with the sugar cane as well. And then we've still got the sunflowers, but that's for production. So yeah, that's this field done. So off screen I can put the mulcher in here, the workers, get all of that cleaned out. There we go. 114,000 liters. Uh, 114,808 liters to be exact. That's so nice. Now I need to get this unit washed and prepped for the next run. Um, but yeah, at least the sorghum is in, the wheat is in, uh, this thing is in the way, yeah. I think I need to sell that trailer there, I'm gonna sell it because I don't use it, uh, edit trailers, yeah, I need to sell this because, I mean, it's just in my way. I'm not using it. If I need to, I'll buy it again, brand new. But for now, I just feel it's a waste of my time. Oh, golly. What am I doing? I need to wash this first. So I'm going to dump this over into our silo. Yeah, I'll come and get it out with the trailer. There we go, offloading. And yeah, the next episode, things are going to get busy. Um, we're going to be pumping, sorting out. Off screen, I will mulch that. Do we need to plow that field now? Uh, let's just make sure. No, nah, still only the one field. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you've liked it, please do click on that like button. Great demand of fish. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we go into the rest of the... Let's go see what the fish is priced at. I nearly went off. We nearly closed this episode down. Uh, where's the fishies? Okay, normal price is 4296 four two nine four no we'll be running a loss so yeah if you've liked this episode please do give the video a thumbs up hit that like button sorry guys just fold everything up if you want to leave a comment please be my guest if you want to share this video please feel free to do so whatever you choose to do do not forget to click on that subscribe button for those who have subscribed already thank you so much in kind um, I've picked up on a few subscribers I really appreciate all of you even though it might not seem like it I really do that's it for this one thanks for watching everybody see you in the next one cheers